Aziz, before I let you go, I want to ask you how you personally are doing. This must be a very tough time, obviously, to be a peace activist. It is, and probably much harder than choosing which side I want to care about more. Because if you pro-Palestinian, you you sympathizing obviously with the Palestinian cause. If you're pro-Israel, you sympathizing with the Israeli cause. And if you're a peace activist, you have friends on both sides. And so your pain is multiplied because if I'm talking to my friends in the West Bank, I'm talking to my family, all my family are in in the West Bank and in Jerusalem. They they living in in complete fear right now. I'm talking to my friends in Gaza who are escaping terrified i'm talking to my friends in israel who are living the biggest nightmare in their lives um i'm terrified for my friends who you know who who have missing family members they trying to find where they are most likely they hostages in in gaza for friends who lost family members and so you're trying you're trying to take the pain of both the israelis and the palestinians and and absorb both of it and live with both of it and understand understand both perspectives, understand when your Israeli friends are angry and they can't comprehend how could you talk about Gaza right now because in their mind, but what about my pain? And my friends in Gaza thinking I'm completely a traitor because how am I able to sympathize with the Israeli's pain with, with the people who've lost their lives in Israel? Um, so it's it's very difficult, but I also think this is exactly what we need right now. This is the time to stand up and say there is an alternative. Hate isn't the only path. How likely then do you think that alternative will be seen? Because you said the likelihood of war is really an all-time high right now. I think we often don't get to peace until we get to it in the sense it's in the worst moments that sometimes a glimpse of hope can come out of even nowhere and so i think what's the alternative what's the alternative to us those of us who believe in peace trying the alternative is is war is violence is killing each other I, I truly believe, and this is how I think of my Israeli friends, I think of my Palestinian friends, I truly believe that this us versus them tribalism is absolutely nonsense and it's stupid. I do not see my Israeli friends as the other. I don't see them as the them. I don't see them as the enemy. I think if we are going to divide things into us and them, it's us, those of us, Israelis and Palestinians, who are working hand in hand working together, shoulder next to a shoulder, marching for peace, for coexistence, for justice, and those who are not there yet. And our hope, our work is to try to convince as many of our own society, as many of our own people, that the other path, the path that includes bloodshed, is going to make all of our lives miserable, is going to hurt our families, our friends, I've been there. I, I didn't tell you that yet, but my brother was killed in, in this conflict. My brother was killed when I was 10 years old. And so I know the pain of losing somebody and I don't want somebody else to have it. Not an Israeli, not a Palestinian, not in Gaza, not in Israel, not in Jerusalem. It is, it is not worth it for a moment of feeling, oh, I can get my revenge to do that. It is just not worth it. Aziz, Thank you for sharing your story. I am. I'm so sorry about your loss. And um, I do hope there is peace. Thank you so much.